start to take a little break from questions and uh, int introduce our computer science topic of today, which is abstraction. Uh, and we're going to do a quick lesson with everybody, including Susan. So abstraction is a concept that we use all the time, not just in computer science. And it's what it basically means is taking something complicated and making it really simple. Uh, so that when you have a bunch of complicated details that you don't want to care about, you can really simplify them down. For example, you know, if, if I were to give Susan driving directions to get from my house to Sophia's school, I wouldn't start by saying, open the garage door, open the car door, get in the car, Sit take the down. key out of your pocket, put the key in the ignition. I, I would just say, get out of the street and take a right turn. And you wouldn't need to say, put your hand steering wheel and all those little steps because we know how to do those things. We abstract them away and just say high level words like go on the freeway north and take exit 15. Uh, I want to show how we can all of us together very quickly learn similarly to basically go from really detailed steps to really simple commands using abstraction. Uh, so please follow along with me and, and uh, Susan again if you aren't in the gallery view to see everybody's faces uh, go into this view and we're going to make sure everybody at home sees that. So I'm going to give you commands to all follow along. So everybody raise your hand up like me and Sophia. All right, now make a fist. And if you're at home, even if you're not on camera, do the same thing. All right now stick out your thumb. All right, let's call this the number one. This isn't really how we show the number one anywhere, but let's just pretend that's how we're doing it. All right, now lower your hand. That was the number one. Now do it again. Pick up your hand, make a fist, stick out your pinky finger. Let's call this the number two. All right, now put your hand back down. All right, now we're going to learn a third number. Raise up your hand, everybody. Make a fist, stick out your thumb and your pinky finger. And if you want, you can wiggle it like Sophia just did. Let's call this the number three. So we just learned a very simple language with three numbers and using abstraction, instead of giving you all those instructions, I can repeat them again. Susan, uh, did you get that complex language? We just I think so. I right. think so. I think I can handle that. All right, so now I'm gonna use a more high level command. I'm just gonna say using that new language, count down from three to one, as I'm gonna count out loud. So three, and then two, and then one. And what we did basically, I didn't need to say, pick up your hand, make a fist, do this and that. Once you learn what a three looks like and what a two looks like and what a one looks like, you can abstract away those details. Abstraction is so critical to computer science and generally to communication. It's what enables us to build really complicated computer programs without having to look through millions and millions and even billions of lines of code. 